It's just a quick video of the Red Lake Four Wheel Drive Trail. Uh, if you're ever near Shaver Lake in the Sierra Nevadas, uh, this is a quick little fun trail to take. Um, it's about 2.9 miles long and uh, about two hours you can probably complete the whole thing. Uh, probably recommend having at least 33 inch tires. I don't think you'll probably need lockers. Um, there's pretty big boulders. So if you got smaller than 33s, you'll probably be scraping a bunch of stuff. There are some bypasses, um, but for the most part, it's not too difficult. If you're familiar with Bald Mountain, I would say this is probably a little more challenging. And uh, if you decide to take the second half of this off-road trail, uh, you're gonna end up at Coyote Lake, which is um, probably just double the distance of this. We did this trail at the uh, end of September and uh, this is the only stream crossing. There may be more um, that are just dried up since the uh, springtime. I imagine if you went early spring or when the trail first opens, there might be some more uh, uh, river crossings or stream crossings. Most of this trail, um, well, I'd say about half of this trail is about has burn scar from the creek fire. Um, the other half has this old growth uh, forest here, uh, some pretty interesting trees. A lot of the trail is this uh, flat, rocky type terrain as you see here in this little clip. Between the flatter parts, there's uh, some rock gardens. Uh, this here you're going to see is the start of one of the rock gardens. Uh, a couple of them have some pretty good sized boulders. One of them even has an obstacle if you want to take a uh, chance of doing that. It wasn't too rough. Um, here's one of the Jeep going through one of the rock gardens. As you get down closer to the lake, there's quite a few more of these uh, rock gardens uh, with some big boulders. Uh, there is some bypasses. Um, some are in between some tight trees, but nothing should be too difficult. Just watch your tire placement as you're going through these areas. To get to the trail, if you're starting in Fresno, California, all you got to do is take State Route 168 and you head towards Huntington Lake. Just before you get to China Peak, there's going to be a turnoff for Red Mountain uh, OHV trails. It's clearly marked. It's only open certain times of the year. Um, but you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Uh, just take that trailhead. It's about five or six miles, and then uh, there's going to be a couple different roads that give you options, but if you just follow the marked trail, uh, it'll take you right to the trailhead for Red Routen OHV trails, and then that'll take you to Red Lake Trail. So this is Red Lake here. It's about 9,000 feet elevation off to the left there. If you keep going to the trail, you'll go into Coyote Lake. Uh, we stopped here. We uh, set up the blanket out and the kids had some uh, lunch uh, before we started heading back down the trail. All in all, it's probably going to take you about two hours to complete this trail. Just one way and probably another two hours going back, depending on what type of rig you have. Um, of course, if you drive a little faster, you'll get out maybe an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes if you push it.
Uh, whenever I'm airing up or airing down, it always seems like the kids always manage to find some kind of creek somewhere. It never fails. Here's another time right here. I'm not sure what creek this is, but it was uh, about a quarter mile down from uh, where I was airing up the tires. So let the kids play here for a little while, let the dog run around. Kids are pretty tired by the end of the trip. They slept most of the way home. Thanks for watching.